What's up guys, it's Manny here and today do a real life video. Now I've been uh this could be a model collector video. Uh I thought I I thought about this and I thought it'd be a good idea just to show them off because I've got not a large collection, but you know a good sized collection of different things. Now this could be part one, so I'm only gonna show off maybe three or four different models. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Now I'm gonna start with the ones I got first, which are Two Vanguard Mini Cooper and Ford Angler Van, which are here. Oh, can't see. Which are here and here. I got these, ooh, I'd say two years ago, coming up October. Yeah, it's about two years ago now. Uh, at a, I got them in the Liverpool Transport Fair. My, my granddad was, took me with him and he was showing off his Rover and there was a little bit of marketplace by a tram museum and there's a guy selling these vanguards and they were seven quid each or two for ten which I think is a absolutely brilliant deal if I don't say if I, don't, if I do say so myself so uh, I ten quid so I thought why not get both now originally we was just going to get the mini uh, there weren't that much options you know there's a couple of Hillman imps and different colour minis but I saw the Ford Anglia van and I thought oh you know that's rare especially like you don't see them nowadays especially and with the SO livery on it looks quite nice to be fair yeah so uh, this is a 143 scale Vanguard this was built in I think 98 hang on a sec I'll show you the inside of the boxes you down there a nice sliding box feature of course you got the uh, plastic model inside there sticks out there we are so inside you've got a plastic bag which all the bits came in you've got a little bit about the Mini Cooper I'm going to pause it and read um, this was ah, 2000 released the Mini this was made in 2000 I believe and then at the top part of the box we got a little tax disc I mean, as well, 1961 Mini Cooper S, 12 months. On the back, it's got it's number 1477 of only 5,000 produced. So, I don't know if it's rare or not. Could be, could be rare. You never know. Let's put them back into here. That's the bottom. Now, I generally, I keep, I keep the vanguards out of the box. Now, I know a lot. That's a bit controversial, saying, "Oh, you know, they're." they're collector's items they should be kept inside the box but I have all the vanguards and anything that you can't see inside the box so anything that hasn't got a clear case like the corgi van or the bus or the double decker bus so anything that isn't in a clear case that I have out just because you know you, you want to appreciate them you want to appreciate them oh, I didn't see the other side it's the other side of the card looks like you, you got to appreciate them properly like so yeah, let's put it back. Yes, and uh, now for the anglers. Put it back there. Now there is wing mirrors that come with this, but I haven't took them out the um packet properly, like so and then of course you have to glue them on and you put a lot they're worth more without them on. And this has got a different star box, because this is slightly older I believe. It's got a proper slidey opening box. And of course, Vanguard's just got the same, same plastic opening. Now, this one's got a bit more stuff to it. As I say, here are the wing mirrors. Oh, sorry. Here are the wing mirrors, and you got this is all kept inside the bag. Now, when I got this, the number plates were already on, so as you can see in the front. Front number plate, then the rear. It's the same the mini also had front number plate and rear, but I didn't have the option to. I assume the man who bought them off just had them. Had it, I just did it. Had. Well, you've got, of course, a little Lex card. You've got a bit about the Angler van. Nice, was released in 1998, so it's a little bit older than the mini, but still really good. And you got the fitting wind mirrors. It's a bit of a um, notice, and that's it for the Anglia. 
as I say, these are two. I, these really kicked off my collect collecting. You know, I've, I've had my eye on models and that sort of thing for ages, but these these two really kicked off my collection of uh, of models and really kicked off my love for them, especially the vanguards because the vanguards, the quality is is brilliant, and the boxes, the boxes themselves are worth like ten quid if they're in good quality, not like so many other ones I have. Right then, well that's going to be these two now. I'll show you the next one I got, which was the shell. Yes, the shell. Supposed to be dusty, which is this box. Oh. All done. Which is this box? Yeah, it's a little bit dusty, so I'll give that a bit of a clean. Now I'll show you. Now this is proper, not hollow stuff. It's proper for bed. It's a Bedford Type S tanker. Now it's got the Shell Petroleum products livery on it with a green cab and then the red tanker. But you know it's got the proper details. You know the uh, devil's axle with a spare wheel. Made in England, obviously with Vanguard. It's called Big Bedford. It's underneath. Yeah, it's a really good quality. Now, when I, bu I bought this, when I was helping out at Whiston Castle, near the car boot sale, again, another sliding box, and this is a smaller scale, because it's a lorry, so you can see, if I get the uh, angler here, you see, it's it's about the same size as the angler, and obviously, the angler would be in real life like this, with the big those lorry I have. So this is a 164 scale, because that's what Vanguard did, the um, lorry, just because it's the same size boxes then, you can see the boxes. The same size. Now, the angle back. Now, let's put the angle in the box. Oh, the angle, the um, Bedford. The set again, same plastic inside. Now, this has got quite a bit in it because this is a proper original collector thing. So it's got start, starting off with a voucher, <laughs> home viewing voucher, which basically says. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I think so you can get a free model. Yeah, the second model in Vanguard's British collection, which isn't too bad. Again, of course, the card for it. Pause that if you want to read. Yeah, and then we got another thing saying about what other models you could have. Oh, what a team better. So on the back here you got Vanguards built and designed in uh, designed and built in England. Inside of course you got the original Anglia non van. You got the Austin A40. You got the big S type Bedford, the box cab. Oh, sorry, the box cab instead of the tanker. And of course two racing Anglias as well, limited edition. Obviously, you couldn't and on the back it's got application form to win them. Obviously this was built in uh, it doesn't actually say, I don't think. I'm not sure. But obviously it's expired by now, 20 odd years later. And again, we have number plates, which I haven't put on because they're worth more without them on. And we also got a big booklet. Sadly, it's a bit scrumpled up because of the box, but yes, we got the, oh, we've got the, which says number plates, the stand, the how to order another one. And of course, you got yours free. And you've got Carlsberg Lorry. Now, so I actually have, sorry, which I'll show off in a later video, in John Smith's instead of Carlsberg, like that. This is again, uh, I think it's actually Thames, isn't it? Yeah. And this, yeah, here we go. Carl's flatbed, completely free of charge, which is obviously not valid anymore. And on the inside, you got all the British lorries that they did. You got the. Ford Thames trader van, got the Type S van which I actually have in the Kodak over here, Castrol Ford Thames tanker which again I have, you've got the Thames trader drop side which I do not have, the Leyland Comet tanker, the Comet box van and the Comet drop side which of course, John Smith's, and there's a bit of stuff about the collecting and all the lorries you can get in the proper big thing for 
15 pound which isn't actually too bad considering most of the models i have here cost about 10 to 15 pounds and that's everything in the box so put everything back in now i got this one um oh, i believe it was five pound because the man who i bought it off knew my father or, or well he knew him back in his rallying days i believe so he's so he uh give me a bit of money off and as well when he when i bought it i also bought the pickford's thing with a little corgi on top pickford's um thing you see here oh, focus there we go Corgi classics model transport depot which come in a range of different signs i think there was royal mail and other stuff but pickford i thought you know I quite like the blue and then a couple then this year i also got some pickford's moving vans because it's the movers which i thought was quite cool oh, naughty camera come on stand stand no don't do that cameras there you'd have them <laughs> there you go that's better so what next well we might as well go for another one lorries while we next one on top of the box we have the john smiths um, Vanguard's Coma flatbed, which of course is here. I got this for Christmas this year. My mum bought me, or my parents bought me, a f uh, the Kodak one at the same time. Oh, of course this comes off. Back on there. A little bit of a dust while we're here. Nice in green, John Smith's Bitter Beer. Yeah, we'll the front and rear number plates. Again, this one did not have the front and rear number plates because they were on stickers. Yeah, so yeah, it's a nice little model. I really enjoy this one. It looks quite cool. And again, slight. Oh, it's got sign box. Yeah, it does have sign box. This one's slightly more difficult to get it into. Just sort of. Oh, there we go. Again, plastic inside but without the glass this time. Sadly, I'll see the glass. A little plastic covering. Yeah. So. Each Vanga box looks about like that in the inside, by the way. Just if you didn't know. Open the bag. Right. Oh, damn. Right. We have, of course, the card telling you a bit about. What was it if you want to quick read? And, as well, that was another one. It's a certification. It's certified a common flatbed. Special edition of 5,000 models only. I know it says limited edition, but every single one's 5,000 only. And this is number 917 across the back. It's just nothing. So, yeah, that's all that's in this box, sadly. And, it's a, of course, it's a 1999 release. So, it's a bit younger than the Mini, older than the Vanguard. I don't know how old the um, Type S tanker is. And there. Uh, Plastic on the back on top. So, box goes like that. Now then, we're going to do all the Vanguard's ones in this video. So we have now the Kodak one. Another one I got for Christmas, same time. So I'm actually going to start putting some of these back as I go. Uh, if I put these, if I stack these here, just out of the way. Put this one back here, then put the... And glue the mini back in the diorama and sack these boxes. So here we go. That's the Kodak one here. Now, sadly, the box isn't in the best of quality, uh, but it was money off. I think my mum told me for Christmas. Oh, there we go. So uh, now I will admit it's not one of my it's not one of my preferred models. I don't really, I, in my opinion, the yellow doesn't look good. But it's still really nice, and I really it's a nice one to look at the type the Bedford box van instead of the tanker. Now, as I was saying, the box is a little bit worse away because there's a little bit of a uh, uh, scratch there, and everywhere around the box, sort of the same yellow thing. But nonetheless, it's still, of course, the box. Now, inside, plastic. You can see it's cracked there. It's actually got the plastic covering this time, apart from like the um, John Smith didn't have. There we go. So, there, of course, plastic. 
yeah, it's a little bit cracked. The inside, you can see. But nonetheless, it's still really nice. Let's have a look inside. So again, the same little plastic bag. There we are. Right there. Again, Vanguard's built and designed in England. The same poster as the Angler had or the Bedford had. Yes, yeah, so it's the exact same in every single way. Close so you can read. Now all Vanguard stuff are based around the 50s and 60s cars and lorries. That's what I say. It says. On the box, 50s and 60s classic commercial vehicles. I know it's not the best box to use, but it's one across the hand. Now, again, of course, the blue card, and of course, talk about it. Give it a read. Now, this is 31 in a series of 42, but I've I believe it's still the one that five thousand they always built, but it's the it's the 40, 31st version of the forty two it had. Of course, number plates not on. Okay, come back. Put this to one side lorry back now we have now this box again it's it's not Swiss where I bought this one actually no I think the Kodak I bought this one at a marketplace in Austria which I think they were five pound each uh, because of the box tail because of how the box quality and this one is worse than the um, Kodak one so look, you see it's faded and got stuff you got um, bits of stuff missing but nonetheless, the model's quite nice. So it's the Regent. It's the, it's the same as the Shell tanker, same Bedford S tanker, except the cab is red, and so is the tanker. Get a quick clean off. So here we are. Model Regent, of course, underneath the Bedford and Devil's Axle. Again, the Kodak also has the Devil's Axle, and so did the John Smiths. It's a bit high, sorry. Right then, let's have a look inside the box. Yeah, put that Kodak. So I'll put it here. So again, sliding box, really nice. Again, plastic covering with a crack there, sadly. But nonetheless, still really nice. Let's have a look underneath. Again, you can see it's crack. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. There we are. See, it's all cracked and everything. There. Oh. Four. There we go. Now, let's have a look. So there's a little bit more stuff inside the box in the Kodak one. We have, again, the same sort of bag. Uh, with the same win the prize or the Lotus and everything in the Anglia. Exactly the same as before. Again, we have a little information card. I'll zoom in on if it will focus. There we are. Focus Regent Tanker. Of course, you know. Information. This is number 28 in a series of 42. And also, and also, again, we have the number plates, which I haven't put on the lowest value. Oh, what's that? Sorry. I don't know, well, that's going to be it for the Regent, the Bedford S Regent or Regent tanker. Put it in brackets box. Oh, can this? There we go. I'm going to go inside the little bag. Okay, I have to put this in, don't want to break it even more. Oh, come on, there we go. Back on top. I'll put the Regent back. I've ordered, I've ordered 164 scale. Why aren't you focusing today? There we go. I've ordered 164 scale to move the police found away. Here. Just because they don't really fit with the diorama size, sadly. But, 
it's all right. It's it works. It is it's back there. So position back. Now we have last of the Vanguard boxes. It is the Tem Ford Thames Trader Tanker, the cash troll instead. And here, it is. here we have the Ford cash troll tanker, the Ford Thames Trader cash troll tanker. Now this one I quite like. I quite like the green with the cash troll stuff on it. Again, Devil's Axle. I like the front. Well, I like the white front bumper, and of course this one's got no plate on. Oh, focus. There we go. I'm gonna put it on. I like the design of the Thames Trader as well. Of course. Underneath, it looks the same. But let's have a look inside the box. Again, side and box. Now this one's got the worst plastic inside, sadly, but again, still very nice. And there, on top of there. Again, we have a little bag. Again, little card. Telling you about it and on the back. There we are. Now, this one it has no plates on it, but not from this sticker sheet. Once again, it has the Vanguard's you can win this thing, the dangler. Put them all back in the bag. And that is gonna be it for the Vanguards. I hope you enjoyed this video and part two where I look at the Corgi stuff because Corgi bought Vanguard. Where I look at the Corgi, so that's the Corgi Pickford's van, the Corgi SO tanker in the background, and the Scammo. And I believe this Pickford's van here as well, the big one, is also Corgi, but I bought it and didn't have a box sadly. But I have the card for it. Alright then, that's going to be it for this video. I've been Noah Samani, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.